uh, this is a helmet I am saving my life every time. I lost my board in the second reefing and I was like praying to God, I was asking for any help I could get. I did dive. I, I didn't have a pulse for about five minutes or so. You shoot that thing? Right in the head. Nice. Right in the head. You're in the hole. This fish is called a moo, M-U, or a big-eyed emperor fish. Uh, in Hawaii, though, they're called a moo. What you can do for me, Ball? Yeah, line that steamer. Oh, Uncle Dave, how did we get this welcome house? Originally, the house was owned by Jerry Lopez. Long ago, there was no house here. This was just a baking yard. There was a banyan tree, and we used to just hang out and watch the waves. Yeah. And then Jerry built this thing, and it's kind of appropriate because he was Mr. Pipeline, and still is Mr. Pipeline. Who lived here when it first became the Volcom House? Well, when it first became the Volcom House, Bruce was on the top floor, deservingly so. He'd won the Pipe Masters already, and he put it in his time at Pipe, and everybody knows about it. Dave Wassel was here. Wassel? Yeah, Wassel. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah! Uh, Ty Van Dyke jumped in. Dean Morrison came jumping in. And Gavin and everybody was hanging out here. Even though they had their own houses, this was where everybody started hanging out. How do we earn our way to the top? The determination is going to be made on how you ride that place, huge. Being on the two porches and having access to that is a blessing, it's a luxury. Whoa! Look at this one. That was a sick one. I think every kid dreams about having a house on the beach with a wave going off in the backyard. This just happened to be the best house ever because of that pipeline. It has, a, it has a pretty decent wave in the backyard. Kind of like a big refrigerator out there too. That's where this guy came from. So, not too bad. Dusty grabbed the veggies. Noah grabbed the fish. Thanks. You guys, one day, could just very well be up here. Like charging big waves. Charging big waves. Big pipe. Yeah. Yeah. The stakes have never been higher. I was really scared and over it for a little while, and then just got back on the horse and was like, "All right, this is what I'm gonna do. This is who I am." I've dedicated my life to this place and it's shown me the most beautiful times and the darkest. It's almost took my life and I still love it.
riding big waves, especially pipe, is you've got to really want to do it. Yeah. You've got to want to catch that beast.